All right, hey guys, I'm Roto CCG back in the video. It's assuming we're going over the new Mimigo archetype, and this is a new TCG exclusive archetype that is coming out in Infinite Forbidden. And we're gonna get started here with Mimigo Master. This is an Earth level 4 zombie effect monster with 1800 attack, 200 defense, defense, and cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects where your opponent controls any face down monsters or you control a Mimigo monster other than this card. So great protection that looks like this might, a lot of things might be based around this just because you want to keep this alive. And otherwise, if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Mimico monster for your deck to your hand. Great search ability. And during your opponent's main phase quick effect, you can change one face down monster on the field to face up attack or defense position. So I'm guessing this is going to be flip related or you're going to want to flip your stuff or maybe your opponent's stuff as well. And uh, then we have Mimico Dragon. So the art for this these cards is really cool so far. It's a uh, earth level one effect monster, dragon flip effect, 500, 200, uh, 500, 2000 stats. Flip, if it is the main phase, apply these effects in sequence. So it looks like these effects are going to be going off um, in order here. You can destroy all face of monsters you control except Mimigo monsters and give control of this card to your opponent. So initially it doesn't seem like a positive effect, but let's keep reading here. During your main phase, you can special summon this card for your hand to your opponent's field and face on the defense position. So it looks like you're going to be giving your opponent this card. And then using something like Mimigo Master, flip it back up, and then use its effect here to pop their board and give give this card back to yourself. From there, you can do whatever you want with it. And if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Mimigo Spell Trap for your deck to the hand. So great search ability built into the card as well. Um, similar to the Mimigo Master here, except that with this one, you can just search for a spell or trap. So pretty cool. I'm So far, I'm liking the idea of the archetype, just giving your opponent stuff and then flipping it back up. It's uh, pretty cool. And it says Mimigo Cerberus. So again, the art just killing it here. Really going with the whole theme of just kind of being a chest with potential loot and then just baiting your opponent and giving them something that they don't want. And this is a beast flip effect monster with 400 attack, 1800 defense. If it is in the main phase, apply these effects in sequence. Banish the top three cards of your deck, then special summon one of your banished monsters to your opponent's field in defense position. So that's pretty cool. Just giving your opponent one of the things that. So you're going to be. Your opponent is going to be giving you one of their monsters onto your side of the field. That seems pretty fun. And then give control of this card to your opponent. So once again, giving it back to yourself. And then during your main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field and face down defense position. Just give it to them. And then your opponent cannot target face of spells you control with card effects. This could be relevant uh, for your opponent as well if you happen to have it. But for the brief moment that they're going to have that is fine. You're going to have this card in the field on your side of the board. And from there, you're, you're not going to be able to tar get targeted. Or your face up spells aren't going to be targeted here. And it's pretty cool because you're also filling up your opponent's board with a bunch of face down monsters that they don't want to flip. And this is Mimigo Archfiend. Again, the art is killing it. Really cool Archfiend little devil guy. It's a earth level 1, 0 attack, 1900 defense. Fiend flip effect monster. If it is in the main phase, apply these effects in sequence. Your opponent draws one card. Send one card from your hand to the grave. And give control of this card to your opponent. So that's pretty strong. Just giving this to your opponent. Then from there... Uh, you flip it back up using the, the master. From there, you get to draw a card. And not only that, your opponent loses a card. And you have to give control of this card back to your opponent. Or back to us. And then during your main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field and face on the defense position. This card is normal or special summon. You can change one face down monster in the field to face up attack or defense position. Uh, just really fun card. Looks like this is going to be pretty fun to just give your opponent, flip it back up. But yeah, seems pretty cool here. And uh, again, it, what's nice about this is that you're actually going to be able to flip something as well. As you can change one face down monster on the field to face up attack or defense position. So from there, you can use it to enable one of your other monsters, which is pretty cool just because now we have another way of doing it besides the Mimigo Master. And here we have the field spell, which is Mimigo Dungeon. Mimigo monsters you control that were not normal or special in this turn gain attack equal to their original defense. So they're going to get pretty beefy. Pretty beefy in terms of attack, but also their defense stat sent seems to be pretty good. And any player who controls a face on monster cannot normal summon monsters nor declare an attack with monsters that were special summoned this turn. So that's going to be pretty annoying for your opponent. Um, I didn't expect it to take a whole floodgate <laughs> approach here, but uh, I guess we're going to see that. I think it's pretty fun just to give your opponent stuff, but preventing them from normal summoning, it's pretty annoying, but at least you can still special summon. And then during your main phase, you can add one Mimigo monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So with some recyclability here, just a great, pretty powerful field spell. And here we have Mimigo Maker. This is a normal spell. You reveal two flip monsters with different names from your deck. Your opponent randomly picks one for you to special summon to their field and face on the defense position. And if you do, you add the other to your hand. Then you can special summon one Mimigo monster from your hand. So pretty easy there. You're going to get two of them. Give your opponent, your opponent gets to choose or randomly pick one. So you really want to see what 
you have in your hand to really capitalize on this as the nice thing about this is that you're able to special summon a mimical monster afterwards even if you don't the card you search out isn't the one that you wanted then you're still going to be able to bring out another mimical monster and if your opponent if your opponent special summons a monster uh, except during the damage step you can banish this card from your graveyard then target one face down monster your opponent controls and change it to face up attack or defense position so that's great another way of just giving oh, another way of flipping your opponent's stuff which again you're going to need since you're going to be giving them stuff and this is the last card which is the mimigo room and it looks like this is going to be where the traps are set it makes sense because it's normal trap special summon one mimigo monster from your hand or deck to your field or in face on defense position to your opponent's field then you can change one face of monster in the field to face down defense position. And not only that, it's searching a mimigo monster from your hand from your hand or deck. So put it on your opponent's side of the field. It's gonna be annoying for them to deal with that. And then you can banish this card from your grave, then target any number of mimigo cards you control, return them to the hand. So from there, once you get them back from your opponent's control, just give them back to them, and it's gonna be pretty annoying for your opponent. This seems like a pretty fun archetype that seems relatively strong as well. We definitely have to see how it's gonna play. But the art is cool, the gameplay style seems pretty cool, it seems like a very trolly deck. Let me know what you guys think about the archetype though, and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.